today so i'm not gonna make this video too long but i decided to go ahead and i decided to go ahead and make a video on this i've already made a video on this before and i think i got like 15k views on this video i just wanted to re-up and do another year another year another you know video showing you guys what you should wear i don't have anything that you shouldn't wear but when i try on these clothes i'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna like explain to y'all what I think you should tweak maybe on my outfits because I literally, when I tell you, I just got up and chose three outfits right quick. That's literally what I did. I was like, you know what? Let me just do a video on showing y'all. One of them, you know, I haven't done this video in a while and then visitation is about to start up again. If it's been closed for the holidays, it's about to start again. So yeah, let's just get into the video. So the first outfit I'm gonna show you is a chill, like laid back kind of kind of outfit so let's get it not gonna see my face but y'all get y'all get the gist of what i'm going for the gist of what i'm going for you're probably not gonna see me but here i am y'all get the gist of what we're doing so and my hat is gonna be on for the remaining of this video because i have workout breaks okay workout breaks if you get it you get it this is for the chill laid back girls you can't go wrong this shirt is very 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 loose I always say stay away from white, but you cannot really see anything. This fabric is so thick and it's going, it's towards the top. So you can't go wrong with this because this is loose. They can't say anything about it. Now what I will say about these pants. Some facilities do not like pockets. So that's the only thing that I will say is stay away from pockets. But please girls, always make sure you have an extra outfit in the car at least two or three outfits in the car and make sure you're early we'll get into that but anyways the pockets i will stay away from the pockets like i said i ran and got some outfits really quick so yeah but if i were y'all i would stay away from the pockets just so you know you can eliminate the hassle and everything that comes with it but this is like for my sneaker girls you know um like i said you can't go wrong with this because what what they gonna say about this? What can they say about this? You get what I'm saying? They cannot say really anything about this because I got on this loose shirt and then I just got on some sweat. And your hair and makeup is gonna make well, if you wear makeup, but your hair your hair is basically what's gonna make the outfit. So excuse honor y'all. The last video I had, I didn't have a child, okay? So it was smooth sailing, but y'all gonna hear him throughout the video. He's literally he's literally right there and he wants to be my narrator, so it is what it is. Let's go to the second outfit. The next outfit, I have on some simple jeans that you can tie up, but I didn't tie them. Once again, I would stay away from white. If you do decide to have like a little bit of white in your clothes, please put on an undershirt under there, something blacked out so they can't really say anything. Or if they do make you take it off because it's white, you already have like on something black under there. Please make sure that it has sleeves to it. Do not wear any spaghetti straps. Do not wear, I would say stay away from short sleeves as well, just so they, you wanna be as safe as possible. So like I said, stay away from white, but I'm just giving y'all literally the basis of what you should wear. If you want to go towards a button down type of look with jeans, or if you want to go towards like a sweat sweatsuit type of vibe, you know, I'm just giving you the basics. You kind of want to look like you're going to church. You kind of want to look like, look like, like I said, your hair is literally what's going to make the outfit. You know what I'm saying? But you want to make sure you're going in there and you're not getting any type of trouble. Um, of course, your button down doesn't have to be this long. You can have a button down like this. Um, the ones that go like that or whatever. But this one's pretty long. It's really supposed to be a dress. I, I think I got this off of Shein, I think. This will be good for if you're having like, you see how tight my jeans are? Every facility will not allow fitted, tight fitted stuff. So... How you can get how you can get through that loophole is what are y'all gonna say you know like this is long like you can't really see anything the only part that you see is like the lower part of my jeans 
So if there's ways to get around stuff, you know, if you want to go towards this type of look, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, something, 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 you know, stay away from jewelry, no jewelry, only if you have a wedding ring or something like that. Like I said, you can't go wrong with this because what can I say? Even though my jeans are tight, this goes over it and you cannot see it. So let's get to look number three. Look number three. So this is going to be the last look. And the reason why I chose this look is because some one of you guys in the comments asked me to show y'all what dress I wore to go see him. And this was the dress here. So what I would say is every facility is not the same. Everybody will not get away with this. I open like this. First of all, I will always make sure that, like I said, you want to look like you want to look like Granny going in there. Okay, that's how you want to look. Um, this can be tight, tighter. So let me make it this tighter because I want this to go up as far as it can to my neck without it slipping. Because I don't want them to be like, oh, she has to keep pulling it. Um, she has to keep pulling and tugging on it, so she needs to go change. So this. It's how I would wear it. Of course, I would have the bone a little bit better than that, but I'm just showing y'all the basics of what I would wear. But this is the dress that I did wear. So breaking it down, when it comes to dresses, you want to make sure that it at least touches your knees or is three inches above your knees. And what I always say is if the dress cannot touch your knees, guys, first of all, you always want it to be, you want it to be lower than your knees. You want it to go about here. But if it just so happens not to go that far, it at least needs to touch your knees. So as you can see, this is touching my knees. So I'm good on that part. So as far as length, y'all got the length? You got the length? Okay, so the length is good. The V-necks are never really a good thing. So another thing is, if you do want to wear something like this, like I said, every facility isn't the same. I did not get in trouble when I wore this. You never really want to wear open toe shoes. Please make sure you have on closed toe shoes, especially like when you're wearing a dress because you don't want them to feel like, oh, okay, yeah, she's showing way too much. If you do want to wear a dress, make sure your shoes are closed. But you want to make sure your shoes are closed either way when you go into the facility because it's just smart. It's just smart to go in there with closed toe shoes. So again, this is the dress that I wore. Um, like I said, it's black. You cannot see through it. But what I will, what I would recommend is wearing a jacket over it, like a cardigan, so they can't say, "Oh, it's coming too much." But this is so stretchy that I don't see why anybody would say that. But the material is very thick, and like I said, it's very stretchy. So, and then some people just have bodies and curves. So anything we wear is something's gonna show so that could be another argument but if just for backup wear a, wear a jacket over here over it especially if it's gonna be your first visit then you want to make sure that you know you know how the facility is try to do something like this but this will be really cute to go see your, to go see your man especially for the girls that can actually go and see them in person so for the girls that can actually go see their man in person this, this would be the perfect dress because you know it's cute you know i got my hair done what i really wanted to talk to y'all about is what to bring when you go in when you first go in first of all you're going to call up to the if you don't know what's going on i'm about to help y'all right quick so the first thing you're going to do is call up to the jail if you do not know the jail's number the only thing you got to do is google his jail and the number will pop up so that's step number one so after you call <laughs> gonna give you options of where you want to call you know so you're gonna press visitation so let's say visitation is number three so you're gonna press number three so when you press number three you're gonna wait for however long until they answer the phone da, da, da. I want to make a visitation for so so and so and so after you make your visitation important thing whatever is on your whatever is on your ID you want to make sure that you give them that information it doesn't matter if you don't live there no more but they're basically going to take the information that you give them and they're going to look on your ID as well. So they're going to match those two up. So that's where I kind of messed up on one of my visitations. 
And depending on who's back there, if they're nice or if y'all get along or if y'all don't get along, they'll work with you. But if not, sometimes you might have to reschedule your appointment. So whatever it says in your ID, that's where you live. They're gonna ask you for that information. You're gonna get them all your information. Like I said, make sure everything that's in your ID is the information that you give them. So after that, they're gonna give you a time and date. And then after that, it will be time for visitation time. So visitation time, girl. I know you are so happy, you're so excited, you're nervous. You got butterflies in your stomach. You don't know what you're gonna say. You don't know how he gonna how he gonna feel when he see you. But you already know how you feeling. So it's a visitation, right? So you have on your outfit. You're gonna press the buzzer, and they're gonna be like, "How may I help you?" or whatever they say. And then you're gonna be like. I'm here for visitation for so, so, and so. I'm gonna let you in. If it's the time, like I said, you wanna be there early. Please get there early, girls. Get there early, get there early. I would say at least be there at least 15 minutes early. Be there 15 minutes early. So if they let y'all in early, be there 15 minutes early because if they let y'all in early, then you already know, okay, so my outfit's good. I I can get in. I don't, I don't, I don't gotta go back. So if you do have to go back, you're already early, so you got time to go back, change your clothes, do what you need to do. If you need to grab something real, real quick, then you go grab it. But anyway, walking in, the only thing you need, girl, is if you wear glasses. If you wear glasses, just bring the glasses. But the only thing that you will need is your car keys, your ID, and your glasses if you wear them. Please do not bring nothing else with you. Make sure you have all jewelry and stuff off other than the earrings that you have in your ear. Other than that, you don't need any other jewelry because that's just gonna slow the process down too. And you don't know if they're gonna tell you, make you take it off or whatever. Just please don't wear anything other than earrings. So the only thing you need, girls, is and boys and guys, I'm sorry, I'll be leaving y'all out. But the only thing that you will need is your ID, your keys, and your glasses if you wear them. Prescription glasses, guys. Prescription glasses because some of y'all be trying it. So going in, all right, we done made it through. We don't got to go back. Or if you did have to go back, all right, we're coming back in. We we got all the stuff we need. So then you're going to check in after you walk through the metal detectors. So that's why I say do not wear no extra stuff. Do not bring no extra stuff. So you're going to walk through the metal detector or you're going to have a security check you, which they might have both or you might just have to walk through the, um, you might just have to walk through the metal detector. I got stuff on my clothes. I got stuff on my clothes. But anyway, so you walk through the metal detector, all right, that's when you know you, you got everything down packed. And remember, after this, that's when they're going to go ahead and check your ID and check your information that you gave them on the thing. So it's like different steps that you got you to gotta pass to get to get to your man. So you want to make sure everything that I'm saying that you're taking, you're taking it all in. After you finally get through the metal detector, you done made it through. They're going to check your ID. They're going to check the information on there, and then they're going to tell you where to go sit down, where to wait, da da da. After that, it's time to see y'all. It's time to see y'all, man. It's time to see y'all, man. It's time to see y'all, man, girl. Yeah, and that's it. That's it. It's so simple. It's so easy. Please stay away from white. If you do wear white, please wear something black underneath. A spaghetti black shirt under it, then that's cool. But if they make you turn around, it would just be so much easier if you just wore like a, a black short sleeve. So you can just be like, I can take this off. I got on a black shirt under here. But if you don't want to do that, then you can wear your spaghetti strap. But make sure it's something black that you can't see your bra or anything like that or anything poking. You don't want, you don't want it to be too much. You don't yeah, and I think that's it. So if y'all have any questions for me, just let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if this was a good video down in the comments below. If you have any more questions for me, if you're nervous, let me know in the comments down below. Girl, I get it. But yeah, y'all, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the buttons that you need to press. For my newbies, hey y'all. And for, and for my family, I love y'all. Thank you so much for continuously supporting me. And I love y'all. And until next time, peace y'all. Go see your man.